Welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at the 10 most common mistakes we make when we are using the VLOOKUP function. The first mistake that I know of is correct column index. So the VLOOKUP function goes like this. This is the syntax. So you have a search key comma, the range, which is selected here, comma, the index. So if I want to return John, and I instead of putting, I put a wrong index of zero, there you go, you get an error. So if you use the wrong index, you either get an error, or you get an incorrect result. So if I want to return email, and I instead put index three, I'm going to return L instead of an email. So it is important to know how do we determine the correct column index. If I told you want to return email, then we start counting from name as one, two, three. So the email is in position two. It is one, two. So if you are going to return the email, you need to use the right index of two and the last argument is an exact match. So you get uh, the email address. That's a common error that you need to be aware of. Error number two. Now error number two is about inadequate range selection. What do I mean? And V lookup, just like this. I'm searching this name in this array here. Okay. But now instead of selecting the entire array, let me select only A, okay, comma, index. Maybe I want to return email, which is in position two. So I say one, two exact match as zero or is sorted like so. Now, when you do that, you're going to get it lookup evaluates to an out of bound range. What does this mean? It means that the item you're trying to look out for and return is outside the range that you have selected. So you have selected this range yet you're interested in returning the email and the, the selected range is this, the email is in a range that is not selected. So because of that, it returns a RIF error. So to overcome this, you need to select the entire range, like so, from A to C, hit enter, then you return the email. So the return value should be among the range to be selected. That's very important. Error number three, omitting is sorted argument. For example, if I want to look up this value, in this range, then return maybe the name, which is in column two. So if I omit the last argument, there's another argument which says is sorted in Google sheet. There you go, I'll get an error. So why am I getting an error? you'll observe that this data is in descending order. So you need to specify whether the data is sorted or is not sorted. So if it is not sorted, you just say false, like so, and then you return a value like that. Don't or include the last argument, we're going to return an error as I have shown you. Error number four, 
is a data ignoring data type. Okay. What do I mean? If the data type of the search key is different from the data type in here, then we're gonna get an error. So let's see, V lookup. Search key is this, which is a number, comma, we take a range, comma, maybe you want to return two, and it's an exact match zero, press enter, you can see it returns NA. So when it returns NA, it says that it has not found the value. Why is it so? Because this is a text and this one is a number. So the search key need to be in the same data type. The data type should be compatible. Otherwise, you are going to get an NA error. So to solve this problem, I have to ensure that the data type here, this one is a text. So I either make this one text or make this one's here numbers for it to work. So let me just make this one text. And there you go. So when I change it to text, then it returns a value. So be aware of the NA error. It could also be because of different Error number five, forgetting to sort the search column. I think I've already explained this. For example, if I say V look up, I'm looking up this, I'm looking up this ID. Where am I looking it up? In this range, maybe I want to return a name. And then uh, if I put true here, there you go. So for you, if you're gonna use, the last argument says is true. Now that true means that the data needs to be in ascending order. The search key here needs to be in ascending order. If it's not in ascending order, then you can either use a false here, which means an exact match, telling it it is not sorted. So for example, if I say false, I return a value. However, if you want to retain the true, then you need to put your data data range from A to Z, like so. When I do that, you can see now it returns a result. But if I unsort, for example, I unsort it, I've undone, you can see it returns an error. When I sort it, it returns Mary. So, um, that's another error that you need to be aware of that can affect your V lookup function. Error number six, missing absolute references. For example, I say V lookup, I'm looking up this value in this range here. When I find it return for me, the email, which is in column three, one, two, three, comma, I want an exact match, is sorted, false. So when I do that, I get Mary for the first item. However, if I don't lock my references and I copy my formula down, there you go, you're going to see that the last argument cannot be found. And if I click on that, you can see the reference has moved and 494 is outside 
this reference that is being uh, looked at. So to solve the problem, you need to lock the range right there with function F4. After you do that, you can comfortably copy your formula down and now it works fine as you can see. For missing absolute references, if they are missing, then we can get an error as you have seen. Error number seven, insufficient error handling. What do I mean? Again, I say V lookup. This is my search key. I'm looking up in this range, return a name in position two, look for an exact match or is column sorted because I'm gonna copy my function down. I have to lock it and there you go. Now, because I have not put in error handling, it looks for 200 and returns an A. So this is not proper handling of an error. You need to gracefully handle the error because an A is not, is meaningless. So to solve this, you can use either the if function or if error function. You can use the if error function and you say, leave a space if the value is not returned and you copy your function down. So when you do that, when the value is not returned, it leaves a space. Or more specifically, you can say not found. If you want to take this route, you can say not found. Then I copy my function down, then it will return not found. Now not found is more meaningful than an A. Of course, you can handle it with the if function, or you can also use the is an a function, if an a. If an a, there you go, you get the same result. If an a, in other words, if the result is an a, return not found, or you can return anything you want or a space use. So it is good that you know how to gracefully handle these errors so that you don't get your NA's references B. Of the next error is overlooking the last argument. Now the last argument is the is sorted argument at this comma in this range, comma, return a name in position, column two. Now there's a last argument, assuming I miss it out, what? If I miss it out, you can see it returns an A. So I need, despite the fact that this value is there, it's an optional argument, but however, it's very important. So the data needs to be sorted for this to work. So if you miss out the last argument, if data is not sorted in ascending order, you need to say is sorted and you say, no, it's not sorted, put false, and then you will be able to return a result. Otherwise you return an A. So this last argument, if left out, it is an optional argument, but if left out, it will return wrong results despite the fact that the value, the ID is there. Error number nine. Error number nine is about merged cells. So if you have your VLOOKUP function, you're looking up this value in this range here, comma, and you're returning the name in column two, I want an exact match. 
there you go. So now when you look at 480 here, this one is a merged cell. So you don't know whether the 480 relates to Peter or relates to John or relates to both. So if you do that, it will normally return the first value and it will not return the second value, John, who also has 480. So this magic cell can be confusing in the VLOOKUP function. The last argument or function or error I'm going to talk about is overcomplicating the formula unnecessarily. So when you're doing the VLOOKUP, I'm not going to demonstrate this, but I'm going to just mention that it is important to keep the formula as simple as possible so that even when you share it with other people, you can easily understand it. You complicate it, you make life hard, not only for yourself, but for other users as well. So ensure when you're using the VLOOKUP function, we simplify it as much as possible. Thank you for watching. Those are my 10 most common mistakes when using the VLOOKUP function. Give me your comments. If you find this interesting and you have not subscribed, please subscribe to give me energy, produce more videos like this one. Give me your comments. If you have a challenge, please share with me. I want to look at it and see how I can help. Otherwise, that's all I had for you today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.